in an escalating battle between Walt Disney and Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis. Disney on Wednesday sued the potential White House contender over his state's efforts to control its Florida theme parks. The lawsuit marks the company's response to mounting efforts by DeSantis and his supporters to exert power over Disney World, which draws millions of visitors every year to its massive amusement parks. In the lawsuit, Disney said it was left with no choice but to file it to, quote, protect its cast members, guests, and local development partners from a relentless campaign to weaponize government power against Disney in retaliation for expressing a political viewpoint unpopular with certain state officials. Disney State Game! The battle began last year after Disney criticized a state law dubbed Don't Say Gay banning classroom discussion of sexuality and gender identity in schools from kindergarten through grade three. Disney argues it was denied its First Amendment rights to free speech. Disney do better! The state of Florida is the new sheriff in town. And Wednesday's lawsuit alleges that a newly formed DeSantis-appointed tourist board violated Disney's contract rights and did so without just compensation and deprived it of due process. It's very unusual to file a lawsuit, and especially on grounds related to, you know, to, to free speech, with Governor DeSantis in, engaging in a very heavy-handed form of regulation of a, of a company. In the Republican conservative world, that's a hypocritical act. That party and that ideology is for, is for, the, you know, is for the free market. And with, with regard to any, any, any objection he has to Disney's behavior, that should be a market decision re regarding people who decide whether to, to attend Disney or not. We are unaware of any legal right that a company has to operate its own government or maintain special privileges not held by other businesses in the state. Before the board takeover, Disney pushed through changes to the special tax district agreement that limit the board's action for decades. The tussle with Disney, which employs some 75,000 people in Florida, could hurt DeSantis as a potential White House hopeful. According to a Reuters Ipsos poll, 73 percent of respondents said they were less likely to support a political candidate who backs laws designed to punish a company for its political or cultural beliefs.